Hi, this is Lydia. You're watching Ketosis Focus. Today we are going to finish up our 10 day challenge uh, updates and um, finish up our camping. So stay tuned. All right, so today is day nine. We only have today and tomorrow left of our 10 day challenge. I took my ketones this morning. I broke my fast with coffee and collagen around 10 o'clock and then I ate sausage and egg scrambled uh, today at around 11.30 or so. I brought Colby cheese and Monterey Jack cheese but I forgot to bring a cheese grater so I ended up putting a slice of American cheese on my sausage and egg scramble. So it wasn't the best possible choice, but um, it's under carbs. And so I am able to, I, I just did it anyway. Um, so I'm taking my keto now for this afternoon. I'm having the Swiss cacao. We're about to head out and see what we find today uh, in Rockport. Yeah. It's about 1.30 and I'm going to have my other ketones, um, the Swiss cacao one. Uh, and then today's day nine. So how do I feel today? So today I feel good. <laughs> like I've been saying every day on this uh, challenge, I haven't really felt a huge change, um, but I do feel good. I am eating keto foods and I am trying to stay on track. I'm not tracking anything um, officially. These past couple of days I have been since I decided not to do the one meal a day anymore. Um, and I'm not intermittent fasting since we're camping. It just didn't work out. But, um, but so far so good. So after tomorrow's my last day on the 10 day challenge, I'll weigh myself, measure myself and see how it was doing 10 days of the ketones, the exogenous ketones. Uh, tonight's menu for, I think it's our last night camping, it's Memorial Day. Uh, we're gonna put some filet mignon steaks on the grill. I have some zucchini that we could probably grill up as well. And I even have asparagus we could cook in bacon, saute that, um, leftover cauliflower rice. There's so many different options that we can have with our steak tonight. Uh, it's rained all last night, so the mosquitoes are pretty bad. We don't wanna hang out inside the camper and we don't wanna be right outside the camper and get eaten alive by mosquitoes. So we're gonna go into Rockport and just see what there is to do today. Maybe see if we can find any, um, antique shops or resale i don't know we're just trying to get out of the camper uh and social distance ourselves in a safe way we still have our um masks on in case we go in anywhere but just trying to get out without getting eaten alive that's it today
Ito. <laughs> Not Ito. We tried to make filet mignons and we wrapped the steak in bacon, but that didn't work out. Yeah. Because we forgot to bring two sticks to keep them in place. And, and that's it. It's done. Keto anywhere, people. Keto anywhere. It's time for breakfast. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. The service here is wonderful. <laughs> Good morning. It is the last day of my 10 day challenge and it is the last day of us camping. So I'm actually looking forward to going home, getting back into my routine, being able to cook <laughs> the things that I'm used to cooking, things like that. Um, so far I feel good about the 10 day challenge. I mean, I have good energy this morning. I took my last ketone, actually no, I took my last caffeinated ketone this morning and I'll take the other one this afternoon. And then tomorrow morning I'm gonna measure and weigh and see if we have any results from these 10 days. I haven't weighed myself since we've been here, so I don't know if I'm in Wonderland yet. My fingers are crossed that I am because um, it's been a long time coming. I've been trying to get back down there uh, and I haven't, so I'm hoping Maybe this 10 day challenge has gotten me over that hump. Um, yeah, it's 10.30. Everyone is having breakfast and not hungry. I haven't had my coffee yet. So I'm trying to not get tempted into sitting down and having eggs and bacon, even though it's keto when I'm not hungry, uh, just because everybody else is sitting down to have breakfast. So those are the, some challenges that I'm going through during this whole thing. I'm gonna um, melt some Kerrygold butter and then make a couple of eggs and then have the bacon and sausage. Um, I'm glad I waited. I did have my coffee about 10.30 or actually more like 11. I had my coffee. And then, um, but I was able to hold out till 12.40. By the time I eat, be about 12.45, 12.50. Uh, and then I'll probably have my last ketones. So I think the hardest part about camping and being on keto is there is a lot of nothing that you're doing. And so when you're bored, sometimes you mindlessly eat or you want to eat because there's nothing else to do. So that's been another challenge that I was trying to combat while on this camping trip is, you know, still sticking with my eating when I'm hungry and not eating when I'm not. So like I said, it's 1240. 12.45, everybody's already eaten breakfast. Um, I wasn't hungry, so I'm proud that I didn't eat then, but I am making um, a couple of eggs. I've got, I'll heat up some sausage and bacon from this morning, and then that's what I'll have as my first meal. I did have coffee with collagen this morning, and that's about it, so yeah. And you know what, I also expected to be a little bit more active on this trip. Like I thought, okay, I brought some, sh you know, running shoes or walking shoes, tennis shoes, and I'd be, you know, checking out the RV park, maybe walking around with the dog. And with the weather being the way it is, those plans kind of, kind of got canceled. <laughs> Getting ready to go home. I've got my ketone, the last one I'm taking. For the 10 day challenge and of the day i've got my water bottle full of water so that way we um, are ready to stay hydrated all day long and we're just packing everything up my husband's outside getting all the camping chairs uh together so we could load them up and head them out if i showed you this i found a booth at the um rockport fulton market days that sold these sugar-free cinnamon pecans it's made with swerve, cinnamon, water, salt, and vanilla. Oh my God, guys, they were so, so good. That's the, the company that does it. Um, it's the only thing that I saw that was sugar-free. They made fudge. Um, I did buy one of these fudge things for the kids to share. Um, and this is the only thing that I saw that I could get, but these are really good. So we just got in from a few days of camping and the kids and the family wanted Popeyes. 
So I went ahead and picked up some Popeyes for them. So while they wanted fried chicken, I went ahead and opted for the blackened chicken tenders. And this is the first time I've ever gotten blackened chicken tenders from Popeyes. I've seen other people do it. I think three chicken tenders are only two net carbs. So I went ahead and gave that a shot. That was my dinner. Uh, and then what I ended up doing was putting some mayonnaise, like a couple of tablespoons of mayonnaise and some sugar-free ketchup and kind of mixed it and made my own kind of sauce, dipping sauce and ate that. And it really upped my fat for the day. So I had pretty good macros. I went ahead and, and tracked to Jay today just to see kind of what my day would have looked like if I was really weighing and tracking everything. And so uh, I'll go ahead and show you the macros here and the numbers, but it was pretty good. So I did end the night. I should have shot video of it, but um, I didn't, sorry about that. Uh, but I did have an enlightened bar, the marshmallow peanut butter one, and it's only one net carb for the bar. So that was good as well. Um, but yeah, I didn't have any other sides. I didn't really feel like making anything else. Uh, the coleslaw was not keto friendly, so I did not even bother uh, with the coleslaw. And I think people, some people get the green beans, but I just wasn't feeling it today. So anyway, it's good to be home, uh, end the night. Uh, technically my fasting will begin, what time is it? It's 6.30, I guess I finished eating around 6.15 or so. So I'll start my fasting at that time and hope to get to at least past 10.15 tomorrow, which will make it 16 hours and start my intermittent fasting again. Tomorrow I'll weigh in, see how it all panned out. Um, and I'll report back. That's it for today. Thanks again for watching. Make sure to leave me a comment if there's anything that you want to tell me about how my week of camping and doing this 10 day challenge has been like for you to witness. <laughs> Any tips, I would love to hear all about it. If you want to let me know about your journey, please leave a comment below. Hit that like button if you like this video. Make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can hear about when all the other videos are coming out. And I will see you next time. Bye.